Uh, welcome my people. So for today, I will be talking about uh, what really happened to the old Nollywood that we knew and loved. You know, the old Nollywood that uh, we all cherished. What really happened to it? And why is it so bad and going down? You know, uh, if you grew up uh, in the 90s, when the Hollywood was really getting up, there are many characters and, and there are many people that we know and loved knowing that these people are doing the best or they are the best at what they do this is not uh, about uh, being doing skit this is about shooting movies with low quality camera and low equipment everything has to be managed and uh, recently I, we, we found out that the food they were giving them they don't even eat it some food we are hired that is to show you why uh, how the whole things were used to be then now during those time shooting was hard because of equipment and uh, uh, I don't know about the whole thing but I believe that I know I have seen then how the whole thing was shot the equipment the treatment and the medics and everything it was so hard then but they managed to be giving us a uh, good movies based on our quality level and uh, fast forward now you will find out that uh, Nollywood is not what it used to be then we have a uh, bad picture bad sound and the uh, bad acting now we have good picture good sound good acting but very bad story then we have a, a very good story but now we have good picture good sound good quality good acting but very poor story as in it's like we are recycling stories every single movie but during the 90s and the 80s and 2000, early 2000s they will have a lot of stories to tell we have a lot of movies to make every every movie have their it was meaningful you know in nigeria movie it's a there are many ways and there are many uh, segments if you look at this movie there are people known for making making a comedy movie there are people known for doing the prostitutions there are the hot chicks there are good chicks there are the university chicks that never graduate there are the ones that are known for gossiping and you know that these ones are better for a shower roadside these ones are better for good grandmothers these ones are known for wicked grandmothers these ones are known for the uh, native doctors like if you want to get the best native doctor call this guy if you want to uh, get the best of king call this guy if you want to get the best of queen call this lady if you want to get the best of uh, grandmothers and grandfathers they are uh, they, they made the whole thing so very good that everybody knows if you see this guy and this guy and this guy all you need to look at look at the movie's picture just look at the picture look at the actors and actresses and you see oh this will be a good movie because you know that the, the combination of those ones they are very 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 good but now you hardly you can hardly tell what will happen in the movie just by the name sometimes the pictures are deceiving they will they will give you a picture of uh, a gun or they will give you a picture of uh, a very beautiful woman and if you click it you will see that this is a very under edited graphic movie now then we only know all we know is that jim ike was the bad guy and the other few uh, sent to be them they were the bad they, they can be good but they were the bad guys then being a bad guy in hollywood we only there are things you need to be you have to be uh, always with your accent and doing all your things these are the things we enjoyed and called nollywood and the 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 good uh, the good guys they are there the more the, the funny guys they have to be funny without even opening their mouth they just have to be funny just by looking at you just by their facial expression just by the way they walk and just by the things they do it's already funny right now the new hollywood it's like everything is being forced the ladies are being are doing everything extra just to make the whole thing good that is why it's like the the legend or the old or the veteran Hollywood actors 
some of them that have the resources just left the whole thing and began their own production and started doing their own movie people like Jim Ike, Genevieve them, uh, Iniedo P many people don't even know that Iniedo is still acting but all her movies are produced, directed by her and maybe submitted to uh, Netflix or in her YouTube channel she's still acting and doing her business but many people don't think that uh, all of them are no all of them do their movies produce it and you can watch those movies in cinemas but the, 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 the Nollywood concept are now left for a few people. The, con, uh, the, the, whole, the whole thing is now about blood money, fast money, rituals, and the comedy that has no meaning. That has no starting and, and the ending is uh, mostly the movie. You can predict the movie just by watching once, just, just one scene. You, just, you, can, you can predict what happens. Some of them will just be in the movie and be saying one thing repeatedly, repeatedly, and the whole time we used to enjoy all those things when we are small. But now, we now realize that these guys are still doing the same thing they are doing. Now. These guys are still doing the same thing, and the only person that is uh, approved and that is nationally approved that to repeat words or to do the same thing is Stuart Lago that can say different funny words in movies. But the other people. You find them doing uh, like uh, somebody like uh, Zuby Michael. When he does his bad boy thing, he will overdo it. He will do show all his skills and all those things. And you find out that, oh my God, this thing is actually being pushed. All of us grew up watching Terminator. All of us grew up watching Rambo. All those times, did you think that... Uh, the, the, if, if this Rambo was to be repeated in Nigeria, it will still be the same thing with just different uh, bad guy or different villain. It will still be the same video. It will still be the same storyline. Nothing will be changed. This new modern uh, bad guy, but uh, bad thing is just like two friends in the village. One went to the city. He became rich by doing uh, ritual. He came to the village abandoned his friend and took his friend girlfriend the friend said oh this is my girlfriend and i went to another city i, I did my own blood money we well, now exchanging money that is a very beautiful story for hollywood and it has been continuing it has been doing itself another time another time change girlfriend change actors rename it continue change girlfriend change actors change uh, location rename it continue and people are like, man, you guys think you are stupid. We are not watching that thing again. No. Every time, new oracle, new actor, new location, same story. A new oracle, new actor, same story. New oracle, new actor, same story. The guy is poor, he went and made money. The mother died, he wants to kill everybody. Everybody, he will die before he finds his sister. Same story, same actor, same story, repeat. And people are like, man, we don't give it them again you can make your movie and watch it your own because we don't care we don't we are we already know what happened and the big ladies and the big actors now see that oh more this is true we now we're not doing anything new we are just repeating our old movies that is why it's like all of them are getting into skit making because the movie they want to make nollywood can't do those kind of movie and now nollywood can't pay them so instead of uh, dragging themselves back to Nollywood and be doing all those repeats, repeats, repeats. They have to open their own production and do their own produ production alone. That is why when you see a Nigerian movie in Netflix, the camera is neat, the acting is real, everything has to be done the way it ought to be done. But when it comes to the Nollywood, those Iwe Karodaba, Nollywood, the acting, the camera, the whole thing is still the same since 1999. Nothing has changed. Just the new faces, new location, fresh camera, the same story. Nothing changes. So why will we still watching all those things? Why? We have seen it all. The ones that these ladies that uh, do the bad, uh, bad girls or the, the Ashawo ladies, they have, we have seen all those things and we have we know how it ends 
but the people doing the story will, rem- will always be like hey this is fresh story it's not new we can do it for you but the reason why nollywood died is because the actors are tired of repeating movies and the producers refuse to understand that the people that are watching those movies has grown and they have seen it all we need fresh acting we need fresh make movies once upon a time they started making movies and, and calling it season one season two season three and when you put season one it will be like 20 minutes five minutes advertisement and 15 minutes movie season one is finished and later they realized that that was foolishness and said and start doing part part one part two part three you is it's still the same get a movie put it in, in Nigerian Hollywood put it there you will watch advertisement like five minutes then before the movie starts and before if you watch the past one before the main thing start happening you will reach to past three it's just like uh, we have seen it all we are tired the the queen mother we have seen her the oracle we have seen her the king and all those movies we have seen it all we need fresh ideas fresh videos fresh movies fresh stories but the, the the corruption and the deception in Nollywood won't let them do all those things. That is why the, the actors and the actresses and the producers that we know and love are no longer there. Because the story has ended. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>